Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sadek and today we will discuss data science, the application of data science and uh, Bayesian inference method, how we can use Bayesian inference method for problem solving in data science, how it works. So we will, uh, we will discuss all these things with the real life example. I have divided these topics uh, in two lectures. So one is the general discussion uh, and in the general discussion we will have different examples uh, in your real life uh, where we use Bayes inference method and uh, the in the next le lecture we will we will have some uh, uh, some example in spreadsheet in excel and we will have to uh, check how the uh, uh, Bayesian inference method works nowadays everyone is talking about data science even different companies social media websites and uh, different application and different businesses are generating a lot of data a very big amount of data so we use data science for risk detection student performance prediction student cognitive skills predictions and target advertisement in different companies data science have multiple applications in social media as well for the government and non non government sector on a daily basis we give data to the social media if you check my Facebook website or Twitter or LinkedIn, you can find a lot of data about my personalities, about my thinking, what I like, what party I support, and uh, uh, what is my interest, what is my hobbies. You can you can check all these things on my wall. We post pictures, we, we do comment on that. Actually, we are, we, we are telling the social media about ourselves and uh, along with that we do cross comment we we have discussion in groups we have discussion on page uh, on page comments and we do cross comment on that another thing is that i explore uh, youtube and i search different types of videos on, of my interest on daily basis i am generating some sort of data and these data are used for the intelligent decision making and for the recommendation system like uh, if uh, if I'm talking about the student performance predictions, so we can have different um, applications. If we know the at-risk students or we know the uh, problems of excellent students, uh, we can boost their, their performance in different sort of activities. So data science have many applications in such areas like I discussed before. We use different deep learning techniques in data science, machine learning techniques in data science. But now we will discuss in today's lecture we will discuss Bayesian inference method, which is very old method, machine learning method, which which are used for the um, uh, intelligent decision for the predictions for different predictions. So let's let's see how it works. So in this lecture I will have some general example of data of uh, Bayes inference method. In Bayes inference method we basically use four types of probabilities. This is the one is the prior probability, second one is uh, conditional probability, third one is joint probability, and the final one is posterior probability. Once we got the prior probability and conditional probability, we can calculate the posterior probability of uh, an event or any object. Here, the first one is prior probability. So, what is prior probability? Prior probability means that what is your first impression about something? what is the system impression about something like for example if i am creating a facebook account what is the impression of facebook or in their intelligence system about me about my uh, about my id so uh, it it can be fake id it can be uh, it can it can be real id and the next example is that let's suppose explore the admission interview of universities or different institutions institutions and so in that interviewer evaluate the performance or the future performance of a student so so let's assume that a student is coming to me i am the interviewer i, I am evaluating the uh, the future performance of a student i need to know about uh, about his uh, previous work about his previous projects about his previous uh, academic performance so what i am thinking from his first impression like he is talking to me he is well dressed so what will be the what will be my first impression so here the first impression mean that this is the prior probability so let's assume that i have three classes in my mind one is the uh, uh, excellent student 
second one is average student and third one is average student let's assume that i have three classes in my mind about that particular student so when he talked to me so let's assume his communication skill is good and uh, he's well dressed so now i distribute prior probability between these three classes so i have, so what i'm thinking okay he's well dressed and he's, his communication skill is good probability is between one zero and one so i think the 0 0.60 percent he's excellent student 0.20% he is uh, average student and 0.20% he is at risk. This is my first distribution. Okay. So when I talk to him and I explore his academic uh, performance, like I, I observed the uh, A-level and O-level uh, marks and, uh, and grades, so here i understand that okay he, he got only 50 but let's assume that he got 50 percent 50 percent marks in in a level and all level so now i think that okay his his communication is good he's well dressed but his academic is not that good so maybe he will be the average student he's not that good in uh, uh, in academic so here what i'm doing I am changing my mind, I am changing the probability in my mind, the probability distribution in my mind. So now I will think that okay, if he's, uh, go, uh, he's well dressed, his communication is good, but his performance in A level and O level is not that good. So maybe he will be the average student. So I redistribute the prior probabilities. I say that okay, 0 0.30%. 0 he is excellent student 0.40 percent he's he's average student and uh, 0. 0. 0.30 percent he's at risk so now i change my mind so what is this why i change my mind on the basis of some conditions so now the a condition has been occurred and now i change my mind so this is called the conditional probabilities and with the conditional probability I changed my mind and uh, now uh, the last one was 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 the when I changed the uh, when, when I redistributed the conditional uh, the probabilities so that was the posterior probabilities so first one was prior probabilities when I got first interaction with the with the student his communication skill was good he was well read so it was the first prior probability when I, when I uh, explore the A level and O level performance, his performance was not that good. He was, it was average. So now I change my mind and I redistributed the uh, probabilities. So first one was the prior probability and from the prior probability I achieved joint probability and from the joint probability I, uh, I achieved uh, the posterior probability. So now let's proceed this story. So let's suppose I again checked the uh, metric mass of that, that particular student. And in the metric, in the SAC, he achieved excellent score. Like it was uh, 80%. Now I, I again, uh, what I'm thinking, okay, uh, maybe there was some problem in his family during A level and O level, so relationship, uh, the relationship between their parents was not good. That's why his performance affected. So now I, I am redistributing because in the SSE, his performance was excellent, but in the, F, uh, in the, in the A level and O level, his performance was average. And uh, now he is well dressed and his communication is good. So all these uh, factors, I am exploring one by one and I am changing the perception about him. So this is actually called the prior probability, prior probability, condition probability, joint probability and finally posterior probability. This is called the Bayesian inference method and, and this is the methodology of the Bayesian inference method. It first look at the situation and it uh, set some prior probabilities. And that prior probabilities are also called coefficient or parameter values. I have uh, split that topic into two uh, two lectures. One is the general 
general example and the other one is uh, numerical example. So in general example, I don't want to discuss the coefficient and such things. So this is all about the Bayesian inference method. And in the next example, we will have some numerical um, values and we will uh, try to measure the uh, posterior probability of an event. Thank you so much.